What are you having today? Sandwiches! Excellent. I do approve of that. Let's see... Uh, where is that thing? Oh well. It's so annoying having to wait for this. Chicken burger! Yes. Okay, you know what? The worst thing that happens is we get sent back here, I believe. Uh, okay, we need to go back here now. I think it'll just come up here and start bitching at us. Yeah, there it is. So there are some annoying parts of this game, which is this whole stealth part, uh, where we just have to sneak past all these robots. Uh, it's a little bit annoying, but hey, what can you do? Can I even go this way? It's closed. I can't. Ah, oh, okay. Oh shit, 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 Go away! Go away! Don't bother me. <laughs> I mean, it's understandable. Uh, it's just a little bit sometimes annoyingly implemented. Let's see. Mushroom sauce. Mushrooms are amazing. I love mushrooms. Uh, that one should be coming okay that should be fine for now it'll be coming back soon but let's see it's closed it's closed uh we should just wait until it pa comes back again or will we make it emergency exit it's probably hooked up to an alarm system Mm. Oh shit, shit, shit! No, go away, go away, go away! No! <laughs> Hello, Hex! How are you? Yeah, I do enjoy mushrooms a lot. Uh, this one should be... Come... Yeah, it's going that way. So, we can... We should be able to just follow it, I believe. Um... It's closed. Oh, come on! Was it actually this way then? Yep, there he is. That's Damien. Look at this screen! This must be Damien Kavanagh's office, and that's the only person I see in here, so, Damien? <laughs> Hello, can I help you? I'm looking for Damien Kavanagh. Speaking, well, what do you need? I have clearance to work today. I don't work here. I'm a friend of Reza Tamiz, Jericho. Jericho? Jesus, how did you... Hold on a second, let me just... Oh, are we going to have what a What did you just do? I made sure that this remains a private conversation. How did you get in here? This place is a bloody fortress. I'm getting good at finding my way into impenetrable fortresses. I'm Zoe. Damien Cav... Oh, you already know who I am, which I <laughs> find sort of disturbing. I told Jericho that he couldn't talk to anyone about this. Did Jericho send you? I haven't been able to contact him. Jericho's gone. 
Something's happened to him. But he left me enough info to locate you. He's disappeared. Jesus, that's not good. But what about Rio? She went to see Jericho five days ago. <laughs> Is she... Are you close? We work together. Why? I'm What's always happened? happy. I think she's dead. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm in way over my head on this one. I shouldn't have asked her to go. Kisses are innocent. What, what loot? I don't know. I found her in Jericho's apartment. She was hooked up to this white plastic thing, and there were wires going into her head. The dreamer. What? That's what it's called. A dreamer. It's not supposed to kill you. I know. They hooked me up to one. Who hooked you up to a dreamer? Two girls. Twins. I don't know who they work for, but I'm guessing they're connected to your company. I've seen them around. They work for Miss Gilmore, the president. I think maybe they got to Rio as well. And they're after Jericho... after Reza. I was hoping he'd made it here. I haven't heard from him since Thursday. Sorry. Rio rang me when she got into Casablanca and told me she'd met with Jericho. That must have been right before... I found her in Jericho's apartment. And minutes later, the Eye raided the place. I was arrested, but they let me go the next morning. Is there anyone who isn't involved in this? This? What? I decided to track Reza down in order to help him. He's my best friend. But I don't know what this is or what I've gotten myself involved in. Now Reza's vanished. And you're the only lead I have left. Can you please just tell me what this is? You don't know anything. Only what I've picked up on the way here. Reza never shares his stories with me. I know that Watikort is working on something, and that they've been testing it out on people in Newport. You called it the Dreamer. I know that the Dreamer is probably I'll get to connected to the, to the static solver. And that is most likely what Reza was investigating in the first place. And I also know that Watty Corp is keen to keep all of this under wraps. Keen enough to kill people. Apart from that, I have no idea who you are, what you've told Reza, what Rio was doing in his apartment, and what this dreamer thing is all about. So you're going to have to fill me in, and I'm not leaving here until you do. I've come too far to go back now. If I can't help Reza, at least I want to know why. I want the truth. Right. Well, okay. I understand you want the truth. I wish I could tell you. I'm putting myself at great risk here, Zoe. I don't know who you are. For all I know, you could be working for the corporation. And then again, if you do, I'm already doing for anyway, so... You're right about all of it. We, uh, Water Corp's working on something big. The Dreamer. It's a device that'll let you dream anything you've got a mind to dream. Lucid dreams. You're awake and in control. Can you just imagine the possibilities? Every other entertainment medium would simply disappear overnight. Why watch a movie when you can dream it? It was destined to be the yeah, biggest thing in history. Right. And it was supposed to go on the market in a few months from now. However, about three months ago, something happened. There was a contamination in the network that connects each <laughs> dreamer console with a central processor, Dream Core. I used to work on the network code. The parts that link the dreamers with Dreamnet. When the problem appeared, my bosses asked me to head up the group charged with identifying the problem on this end, to weed out the bugs. What we discovered was that Dreamnet was beginning to slip out of our control. There was a contamination, but it wasn't a bug. It wasn't internal. We figured someone had hacked into the network and introduced a virus or worm, something sneaky and adaptable. It didn't take me long to realize there was a link between the static and our problems. The static wasn't the cause, it was the effect. Whatever had infiltrated Dreamnet was, for lack of a better word, leaking out onto the wire, causing glitches and system crashes. When I told my supervisors, I was instructed to not ask any questions and to just keep working on the problem. So I did what they told me, but at the same time, I started digging deeper on my own. And that's when I met Rio. She was working with the biological systems that run our code and operates Dreamnet, the central processor known as Dreamcore. She'd been digging too, and like me, she'd reached an impasse. So we started working together to identify and nail down the contamination. 
We figured that sooner or later the static would be traced back to Watercorp, and then we'd be out of a job. Besides, it was getting serious. People were dying. So we kept digging, and then one day, about a week ago, we discovered something that changed everything. We discovered the truth behind Project Altura, behind Dreamnet, behind the Dreamers. Wadi isn't making these things to entertain people. They're making them to spy on and to control people. Wadi Corp can extract private and personal information about anyone who's ever been connected to a Dreamer. And that's just the beginning. By feeding data back through the Dreamer, they can plant thoughts, instructions, even hypnotic suggestions in people's heads. Dreamnet is the biggest brainwashing experiment of all time, disguised as mindless entertainment. And now someone's hacking into it. What? Uh, oh, right. Exactly. Someone's trying to take control of the network, the most dangerous weapon of the time. <laughs> Rio and I, we realized we had to tell someone. But we also knew that the corporation would do anything to protect their secret. If we went to the media, we'd be dead. We had to find someone with the guts to expose Wati, while protecting our identities. The hand that bites. Who better to expose this conspiracy than Jericho and his notorious feed? We knew he wouldn't be afraid to go up against Watercorp. So we got in touch, and then Rio went over to Casablanca to meet him. She brought a, a prototype dreamer with her to prove we weren't crazy. We knew the risk, but what else could we do? And now... <laughs> I, I can't believe Rio's dead. And Jericho. I'm afraid that if nothing's done, this'll keep escalating. The static will get worse. Dreamnet will be hijacked, or, or the corporation will <coughs> launch the Dreamer. Anywhere you turn it, it's bad. So, to answer Rio. the question... Um, is... I'd rate him as a 7, I guess. And you're sure about this, Damien? Although I'm it hardly an expert like at like the judging uh, men's attractiveness. The people behind it seem to believe that it's possible. And the dreamer works. I've tried it many times. It's incredible. Like nothing you've ever experienced. But to know that they have free access to your innermost thoughts. I won't use it again, that's for sure. Not with everything I know now. Is there anything you can do to stop it? I don't know. I've been thinking <laughs> about it since I first realized what was happening. The static's starting to kill people, and if the Dreamer launches, I... I, I, I don't want to think about what might happen then. So yes... Yeah, there's some uh, some like uncanny valley with the animations, but myself. hey, what can you do with the 2006? The plan was for Rio to help me when she got back from Casablanca. I don't know who else to trust, so I'm a bit stuck. You can trust me. Yeah, I know, but you're not... I, I can't just ask... Why would you want to help? Why? How can I not help? I may not be any closer to finding Reza, but at least I can do my part in exposing this conspiracy. <laughs> it's too dangerous. If you get caught, or worse. Oh, that one. If you knew what I'd been through these past few days, you wouldn't say that. Whatever it is you need me to do, I'll do it. Are you sure? Uh, Damien here. Damien, we don't have a choice. That's the one we're doing. This is we what Reza was doing. He was taking a stand. He was risking his life to expose Watty Corp. I can't run away from this one. I have to do this. For Reza. For everyone. For myself. Sounds like you've really thought this one through. Okay, if you're sure. I'm sure. Well, you've definitely arrived in the nick of time. If we're doing this, we have to do it now. Just tell me what we're doing. I'm ready. Okay, good. So we need evidence. We need to know where the intrusion is coming from, and we need to stop the static from causing any more damage. Look so at how fancy do we do keyboard that? in two parts. I have to stay here. This is the only place I can access the system from. You, on the other hand, you're going on a long hike into the Wati Caves. From the time I open this door, you have 30 minutes to make it down to minus 58. That shouldn't be too hard. At least you don't have to go up. Yet. I'm fit. You definitely look it. Okay, one moment.
Uh, animations, please? Please don't lock... Oh my god, have we locked it? Fuck. Game! No! Ah! <laughs> Okay, uh, I guess we are just speeding through this. Yeah, we can speed through the- we can speed through the talk just uh, all the way, so that's fine. But still, it's just, uh... Uh... Me uh -huh. hanging in, uh, in, uh, Asprey stream? No, never! I'm <laughs> Okay, let's just blast through this again. <laughs> oh, there's so much! <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Please don't get stuck on the wall. From the time I. <laughs> oh god! Oh, we're in, we're in, we're in. Come on! <laughs> Game! <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll shift on its own. <laughs> And this is why you don't um, tie necessarily tie uh, tie um, triggers to uh, model positions. No, wiggle the monitor. Maybe it gets unstuck. Oh, oh, there right, we go. Zoe. So you know what to do. <laughs> I go down to sub level fifty-eight. In exactly half an hour from now, you'll disengage the alarm, and I'll open the door. Remember that once you're through. The door will be tagged for maintenance by the security systems. If you open it again before the scheduled time, we're screwed. I got that. Hello there, Bino. And the rest of it? I got it. <laughs> All of it. Uh, Keep in mind that I can't call you while we're inside the building, so we won't be in touch until this is over. Best of luck, Zoe. Thanks, Damien. You too. Hey, Bella. <laughs> oh, come on. Is it stuck? Yes, but... Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're cursed. Oh. Okay, we're fine. I need to go all the way down to minus fifty-eight. Okay, so minus fifty-eight. Um, as Zoe says, she is fit. She is walking fifty f floors, like or sixty floors. Which is insane, and she's also walking up those floors. Still a few minutes left. I have to wait. But yeah, um, if you're gonna have any sort of uh, animations or cutscene triggers, but based on uh, people's positioning, do keep a timer that'll check, that will trigger the. Uh, but about how, uh, how long you expect it to take for the person to get into position, give it a little bit of extra time and to then just skip to the next part and move the models, in case something like that happens. But hey. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, this part. Fucking spider box. Oh, and uh, there are bots like this in the real First world, off, keep sort of. For spiders. If they spot you, you're toast. Use doorways and ventilation shafts to hide in when they're close. Stay quiet and out of sight, and you'll be fine. All right. So in order to get into the dream core itself, you need to find a way into the offices surrounding the core room. And to do that, we have to cut the power to the doors. I can shut down the necessary grids if you can patch me into the closed circuit system down there. Locate and remove the wall panel marked PSA1 and upload the software I gave you directly into the system. The panel is on the outer wall of the hallway, on the opposite side of where you come in, close to the doors to subsection 2. 
may be hard to spot, so keep your eyes open. And remember to keep your eyes and ears open for spiders. I want you back in one piece. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're just gonna walk this direction, because that's how we avoid all the bots. Well, we can uh, avoid most of the bots. Uh, we need to find a panel. Welcome back! Let's see, where is that panel? No, not here. Uh... <laughs> Wait, Twilight Princess was 2006? Not there. Oh, there's the bot. We just need to wait a little bit. Uh, the panel is not here. It's not one of these walls along the edges, so we just have to wait for this thing. Uh, do you know when he'll show up though? He's typically very um, unambiguous and very bad at notifying you, but has he given you a time schedule? <laughs> Rip. I think this is where the panel is, nope. Yeah, I can understand that. Time is a guideline more like for him. At least for things like this. Uh, oh, there it is. So, the panel is over here. I can't go back up until I finish what I can Wait. No, it isn't. Fuck. Ah, oh, it's on the other exact opposite side. Can I go run back without getting caught by a spider? I think there are multiple spiders here. Um Yeah, there it is. So gonna have to wait for it. No, not that way. No. <laughs> this is a closed environment, and that's where the air is coming from. Okay, the, the, the panel should be on the side here, somewhere. I just can't remember. Oh fuck, that's another bot already. Come on. Eh. Troublesome. Ah well, we just have to deal with it. Live with it. Here? It's not here. Come on, where is that stupid panel? Uh, I should be able to get up here before that bot comes and spots me. No, 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 other way, other side, other side. Come on, there we go. <laughs> I mean, there are many good games from that time period. And for all the flack I gave this game about its combat system, this is a good game. Now where the fuck is that stupid panel? It's supposed to be on one of these walls. Uh, no. Oh! Fuck. Got them spider bots. <laughs> but yeah, um... You have all probably seen the uh, the rolling spider bots um, that are existing. Uh, in uh, they, they are kind of adorable, especially if you put a portal turret uh, sound effect on it. It is super cute. Uh, no, this is the I door. I can't go back up until I finish what I came uh, here for. Where was that stupid thing? Maybe this was on the left wall. Nope. 
Yeah, I'm all, I am confused now because that, that panel is supposed to be somewhere. It's supposed to be very easy to see. It is on the right wall somewhere. I'm certain it was on the right wall, but I will just... That's the something else. Do call out if anyone sees anything that is out of the ordinary. Oh, wait, there it is. There's something in that wall. There's a sliding panel here. Ah, oh, God. Just, there it was. I found it. That's the one. It's open. I can access the closed circuit system now. No. Me. I'll just upload Damien's software into the closed circuit system. And let's hope we don't get caught there. by a spider bot. That should allow him to shut off the power to the office doors. Okay. As soon as you upload the patch, I'll be able to shut off the power to the doors. After that, oh fuck, there's a spider bot coming my way. I can hear it. Unfortunately, the door to the core room itself will still be locked. It operates on its own secure grid. And the only way to get into the core is to use an authorized access key. We'll get to that later. Now, you need to scan the bioworm I gave you. And before you can do that, you'll need to place it in a special capsule. You'll find those capsules in the laboratory just down the hall from the panel. It's a data key scanner. Okay, but get there. <laughs> yeah, the voice is really nice. Jaws music. Da -da. This looks like the secure. I need to disable the security before okay. going in there. Okay, so. <clears throat> I think he really. The one who did the voice acting for Damien really did a good job. I'm guessing this is the cybernetics office. That is not creepy at all, by the way. All right, my... See you in a bit. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> oh. Giant spider thing. This console is locked and the protection is probably airtight. Without live around, I wouldn't risk trying to access it. <clears throat> it's kind of like that, yes, I'd reckon. Oh, there's a spider bot. Uh, I'm supposed to be able to... No, maybe not. This is the cybernetics lab, but I need to go to the... Um, to the... Uh, I think... Oh. Okay, let's just run before that thing comes back. This is the med lab. There we go. My lab. I think this is where I had to go. It's a full body scanner. It reads all my biometric data and uploads it to the system. It's locked for access. I'm guessing the security here is top notch. Even lift software won't stand a chance. It's a small biometric scanner. Put your specimen in a capsule, stick it in there, and it reads all the relevant biometric data. Hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> security. Security is top notch. Uh, everything is uh, automated, and uh, this, this random girl from Casablanca uh, just like sneaks in. She has no like infiltrational skills at all. After inserting the worm into the capsule, she's a bioengineer. You scan You'll also need to scan yourself. The scanners, with my remote assistance, will upload both yours and the worm's DNA into the Dream Core's guardware. This will allow you access through the airlock. Both scanners <laughs> are located in the med lab. I can't access this. Even live software wouldn't yeah, have a chance see. Can against I... the security oh, I can't. systems Watty employ. 
Uh, I need to... Yeah, I'll just wait back here until it passes and we can run back up. Security installs lied like hey. <laughs> 